Uh, okay, welcome back and uh, we're doing a video on electromotive force and terminal potential difference. So this is one of my first videos on elect and electricity. So we're going to understand what do we mean by the electromotive force of a battery. Right? Uh, to help us understand that, let us draw a very simple electric circuit. Let us say this is a battery and current is flowing in this direction. Let us say this is the ammeter which measures electric current and let us represent this as the resistor and that's it. So this is a very simple electric circuit and I'm interested in finding out or understanding the electromotive force epsilon of this particular battery. Uh, electromotive force denoted by symbol epsilon, right? Unit is of course, uh, unit of epsilon will be volt, right? And objective is to understand what do we mean by the electromotive force. Okay, uh, to begin with, we can break up this circuit into two parts, right? The one part starts from here and goes in around this particular path and ends over here. This particular path is known as the external circuit. Let me show it very clearly. So this is where we start. It goes in this particular direction. Current is flowing in this direction. It passes through this resistor and then let us ends over. Right. So this particular part is known as the, uh, let me write over here, external circuit. And the other part, the remaining part is the part within the cell. Right. So the current continues to flow into the cell and complete this. And this particular part, the part shown in green is the internal circuit. Right. Now, what is epsilon? Epsilon is the energy. which is required to make the current flow in the external circuit as well as the internal circuit. Let me repeat this. It's very important to understand. Epsilon, it's ep epsilon. basically this is energy, right? If you remember, volt is joule per coulomb, right? Energy per unit charge. So volt, when we say epsilon volts, it means the amount of energy used to make unit charge move into the circuit. So epsilon volt. is epsilon basically is the energy per unit charge to make the current flow in the external as well as the internal circuit so this can be broken up into two parts so epsilon can be written as the energy for the external circuit as well as energy for the internal circuit so when I uh, I have broken up epsilon into two parts PE and uh, VI right
Okay, let us look further down. Let us say the current flowing in the circuit is I. Let us say this external resistance is R and internal resistance is small r. Internal resistance is the resistance that the current experiences within the cell. So, what will be the external energy? Right, VE. VE, as we know, is I into R. So, capital I will be the current flowing in the circuit, and R will stand for the total external resistance. Plus, what is the energy used up in the internal part? That will be current I because current I flows into the internal circuit and the resistance of the internal circuit is small r. So, epsilon is equal to I into I r plus I r. Okay, so I come up with this good, nice looking equation. I, epsilon is equal to I r plus I r. This is EMF. I r, this particular...